Oh boy, get ready for some super important bird flu jargon. The bird flu summit is happening soon. And it's a big deal, apparently. This is a real website, bird flu summit. And they're looking into preparedness, prevention, detection, and response and recovery. This is not a conspiracy. You guys could go look it up yourself. It's a real website and you know they have panels different things going on that they're gonna talk about stuff that was actually happening in the last pandemic you know like mass fatality management developing uh, training exercise programs school-based plannings uh, dealing with success, successive waves of pandemic outbreaks, ensuring continuity of government functions. So, you know, if the whole uh, administration dies off, how are they going to keep going as a government, uh, implementing remote work policies and flexible schedules? Where have we heard that before? You know, keep our community healthy, safe, informed. This sounds super freaking familiar. You know, ensuring law enforcement, personnel, health, and safety. There's different panels, people talking. Um, yeah, man, it just seems super fishy that this is coming up right now. Check it out, guys. It's, it's a real website. You know, maintain operations, decrease workforce. Like conducting mass V efforts, enforcing core team measures effectively. Where have we heard this? Oh my gosh, call to actions. This is real, man. Development strategies, therapeutic options. There is therapeutic options, guys. We don't have to go along and buy with the, what they're selling. It's a bunch of experts. Talking about bird flu because you know it's a thing right now like a lot of birds and some mammals have gotten sick since 2022 I mean wow a whole two years and oh no some humans and cows got it too if you haven't seen my past videos reporting this go check it out clearly we need a fancy summit to discuss this so the summit has a bunch of stuff happening, keynotes, panels, workshops. 46 big shots are talking over four days because what the world really needed was four days of bird flu talk. And get this, it affects everyone. <laughs> Schools need to prep, business need to prep. It's just so, so prep worthy. They promise more info later, but let's be real. It's just going to be a bunch of people in suits talking about how to give out shots, more testing, and woohoo, up the culling of more animals. And everything that happened in 2020 from the last pandemic, but 10 times. I'm not going to explain it further than, than that. Go watch my other videos, okay? I can't wait to hear all about the global health threat and how we need to come together to fight bird flu. Give me a break. It's bird flu. Calm down, folks. It's better to just lead the animals to adapt to the virus. And as humans, we rely building up immunity and also adapt to viruses. What I'm hearing from other doctors to independent journalists, and they see this as another gain of function, another event that gives them utter control, just like, like we experienced the last pandemic. Don't take it from me, guys. Peter McCullough, a very renowned doctor. I think he's, um, I think he's a cardiologist doctor. I'm not sure, but I do listen to him when he does come out in independent news. And yeah, this guy was banned. He was being shot down by you know uh, like Pfizer Moderna the government trying to silence him for 
things that they're that he's talking about that goes against their narrative take a look well, do you think that the left could use the bird flu pandemic or something else, like the threat of something similar to rerun the 2020 election? There's no doubt about it. Uh, there will be a factitious of food shortage. It doesn't need to happen. There's going to be an overplayed threat to both human and veterinary health. I can tell you, uh, we haven't had a single death in the United States in a, in a person from bird flu. It's probably been around for over 100 years, as indicated in a review by Lysette and colleagues. The current uh, strain of bird flu is not much of a threat to animals. We don't see large number of migratory water birds dead. We haven't seen large numbers of poultry or cattle that have actually died of the disease. So we need to stop intentionally culling or killing healthy animals, which is being promoted by agriculture directors. We need to stop mass PCR testing of the animals by government officials. That doesn't need to happen. And then in no circumstances should we vaccinate the animals or humans for bird flu. Yeah, exactly. We shouldn't be doing any of that. If you know, you know, I know, like, I'm not bragging or anything, but this is like what I love to do is getting different information if it's conspiracy if it's from other doctors independent researchers you know i i want all the information and this next pandemic uh it, it's serious when they're trying to start culling off herds of animals our food sources to make it scarce to you know manufacture of a, a food shortage 